why Anthony Simons is officially about to break out. Over the last couple seasons, Anthony Simons has been an extremely impressive young point guard. The way that he's able to score the basketball alongside with Playmake a little bit has led a lot of people to believe that Anthony is the future point guard of this Portland Trailblazers organization. But although he's already been extremely impressive over the last two seasons, in my opinion during this upcoming year, I think he's going to officially break out into a star type player. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description, but anyways, let's get into it. Ever since Anthony Simons was drafted in the NBA, people always had pretty high expectations for this guy. And although early on, Anthony didn't necessarily put up crazy numbers due to the fact that he wasn't getting a huge opportunity out there, alongside with the fact that of course it's going to be difficult for any young player to make their transition to the NBA game, fans still weren't all that worried about Anthony, just due to the fact that in those seasons where he wasn't putting up crazy numbers, at the same time he was showing a lot out there. He was showing a really nice ability of what he could potentially be in terms of his scoring ability, even in terms of his passing and playmaking ability at times, and overall if you just watch this guy in his first three seasons in the NBA, it was pretty clear that he had a lot of talent, and it would only be a matter of time for when he would break out. And luckily for himself and Blazers fans, he ended up having that breakout year in his fourth season, where he jumped up all his numbers across the board, averaging 17.5 points per game on 2.6 boards and 3.9 assists. Just incredible numbers from any player, but especially for a guy who is a young point guard in the NBA. Because the point guard position is the most difficult position you could play at at the NBA level. During that 2021 season, Anthony was doing a great job at hitting that three-point jump shot at a pretty high rate, also doing a really nice job from that mid-range area alongside with driving all the way to the basket. It was pretty clear in terms of his scoring ability, Anthony was a very talented player and just had the ability to basically do everything out there, which of course is exactly what you look for in high-level scorers. But even besides his great scoring ability, Anthony was showing a pretty decent ability to pass and playmake. Although this clearly wasn't his best ability and was something that he was learning over the years, at the end of the day, when you looked at his ability to pass and playmake out there, it's pretty clear that he was working on it tremendously and he has made some significant strides in that department. Whether you talk about the pick and roll or pick and pop and facilitating that way, or just running an NBA offense in general and facilitating to guys for easy looks out there, Anthony was doing a much better job during that season as opposed to the previous three seasons prior to that. And after that great season during the 2021 year, people had extremely high expectations for this guy going forward. And during the next season, which was last year, Anthony once again played extremely well as he bumped his numbers up to 21 points per game on 2.6 boards and 4.1 assists. And I would say during that season, Anthony once again was showing a lot of different improvements, whether you talk about in terms of his individual scoring ability just being a little bit more efficient out there, alongside with having abilities to do different things out there, but also in terms of his passing and playmaking ability, although they don't necessarily show up on the stat sheet that much, when you watch him out there, I did actually feel as if he was getting much better in that department as well. And that kind of takes us to the point we're at today, where Anthony is coming off two extremely solid seasons, and people certainly have high expectations for him going into this next season. And in my opinion, I actually do feel as if Anthony is about to have another breakout season. Now, some of you may be thinking at this point, how could Anthony Simons have another breakout year if he already broke out a couple seasons back where he jumped his numbers up across the board, but more specifically jumped up his scoring numbers from seven points a game to 17 points a game. Well, in my opinion, I do feel as if players can have multiple breakout years. And I think the level that Anthony has been playing at over the past couple seasons, although we have seen some nice improvements between those two years, I do feel as if it's at a relatively similar level. And in my opinion, due to a multitude of factors, I think during this upcoming season, Anthony is going to have another significant breakout year. And I'm talking about significant improvements across the board for him. So the question at this point is, why do I feel that way? Why do I think Anthony Simons is going to have a significant breakout season during this upcoming year? Well, in my opinion, I feel this way for a couple different reasons. But the first reason that I want to touch upon is due to the effect of Damian Lillard. Now, of course, ever since Anthony made it to the NBA, Dame has been on this roster 
and he served as a really good mentor. He showed Anthony what it takes to be a really good point guard at the NBA level, what you need to do on the court, what you need to do off the court, and all those little things have certainly played a big role for why Anthony is playing so well at this point. But when you talk about the level of play that Anthony is at at this point, I actually do somewhat feel as if the fact that Dame has played such a big role on this Blazers team over the past couple years, and really ever since he made it to the Blazers, at this point actually is somewhat of a negative for Anthony. Because it's taking away some touches in terms of scoring ability for Anthony, but also I do think it is hindering his ability to improve his passing and playmaking ability even further than it already is. Because when you have Dame out there, of course the ball is going to be in his hands most of the time, and he's either A, going to score for himself, or B, going to facilitate for somebody else. And although Anthony is getting some easier shots based upon that, at the end of the day, if Anthony wants to take his game to the next level, I think he really needs to be the main guy out there, or at least the main point guard. So with all the rumors going around about Damian Lillard potentially getting traded away, I do think it would actually be a benefit for Anthony if Dame wasn't on this team anymore. Because I think Anthony got all the wisdom out of Dame that he possibly needs, and at this point, it's time for him to take over and be the main point guard of this roster. Now, of course, it is possible that Dame doesn't get traded. It seemed like the rumors were a little more hot earlier on and during the free agency period, and at this point, it seems like he might not get traded before the year starts. But at the end of the day, there have been so many rumors, and Dame has finally admitted that he would be okay getting moved from Portland. So I do actually think eventually this trade will get done, and I think it will get done during this upcoming season. Whether you talk about before the season starts or during the season, I do finally think Damian Lillard will get traded away. Now, some of you may be thinking at this point, the Blazers did just bring in Scoot Henderson during this previous draft, and he was a really high draft pick, so of course they're going to be very confident in his abilities going forward long term, and that could of course take away some touches from Anthony, but in my opinion, I don't obviously think it's at the same level of Damian Lillard, and I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if Anthony is the main point guard out there, and they put Scoot alongside next to him. But the next reason for why I think Anthony is going to have an absolute breakout season this next year is just due to the amount of skills he has. Over the past couple seasons, of course, Anthony has been extremely impressive, not only being a lot more efficient than he was earlier on in his career, but also adding a lot of different things to his offensive repertoire. And in my opinion, during this upcoming season, I think that's only going to expand. I think he's going to show a lot more things offensively than he did over these previous two seasons, partially due to the fact that I think Dame won't be as big of a part of this roster as he was in the past, or maybe he'll get traded away. But at the same time, I just think those extra years of experience that he's gained over the previous two years is just going to help Anthony get better and better and I do think he has a real chance to be a fringe all-star this upcoming season. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening for Anthony not only this upcoming season but also in the long-term future. But anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Anthony Simons has a chance to have a real breakout season this next year or do you not think so? But anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy it check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out, guys.